My name is Kyle Schubel. I'm the managing producer at Sony America. I work uh, with the team at Gorilla on Killzone 2. Uh, so Kyle, I had a couple questions based on competitive gaming itself. All right. um, what kind of matchmaking features do you have for Killzone? Well, Killzone is actually a more conventional matchmaking in that you're going to be able to search for the best ping, you're going to be able to search from a list, you'll be able to find your friends, you'll be able to find clan mates and play with them. But as far as a pairing system where you just click on a button and it magically dumps you into a game, we actually want to give you some more flexibility. I like this map, I like these modes, I want to do A, B, C, D, or I just blind am going to pick the fastest ping out there and dive right in. Okay. So no, no new matchmaking, more traditional uh, find a good game. Very good. So what exactly took so long for Killzone 2 to come out? Look at it! <laughs> Look at it! No, uh, Killzone 2, God, we released that infamous 2005 E3 trailer, the benchmark video, and we set the bar very, very high for ourselves. I think we got pretty damn close to it, right. but in effect, we, uh, we're we spending time to make sure we get it right. We want to get the best video. We want to have a great experience. We, we have a stronger story than either of the previous ones. I feel that we're really bringing the universe to life and we wanted to immerse you into a, just a furball. Then you look at the online. Killzone 1, I enjoyed the online. It was fun, but it was really almost bolted on. It, it felt like it was a single player game that happened to have multiplayer. Killzone 2 is two full games. We had, I mean, I've been playing multiplayer games with Amsterdam. Grill is in Amsterdam. I've been playing from Santa Monica with Amsterdam for three years. I mean, we've had this thing up and running and playing online for years, and we've really tried to polish it out. We can go dive into the feature set and everything, but really it was polish. It was making the game the way it should be and the way we wanted it to be. Very good. And as far as like a competitive aspect, I mean, how, how do you see like a game like Killzone 2 to be compared to like Halo 3 or like Call of Duty? I mean, how do you see it compared to that in like a tournament level? I see it stacking up incredibly well, mostly due to the fact of our community feature sets. We've got actual clans. No clan tags, no hey, oh, I lay, that was a funny thing that you do, I'm going to do the same thing. Full clans, officers, invites, you've got a full clan system and status uh, that you're going to be able to put together. As you play as a clan, you get Valor. The Valor is what you use, you can bet Valor against another clan. I bet 200 Valor that my clan can be your clan, winner take all. You're going to hop into tournaments. We've got a full tournament system with bracketing and everything in the game. You can create your own tournaments. You guys do pro gaming? Here you go. There's no other tools or go to the website and see who you play next. It's all in game. You're going to be able to do clan tournaments. Up to 16 clans fighting against one another over a month's time. Tuesday and Thursday nights and huge amounts of valor involved. Right. All there. Feature sets, I think we spot up very nicely. We've got six different badges with multiple abilities. You can split the badges up. 11 different weapons. 8 different maps. We do something neat with a multiplayer that we don't have. You don't hop into a TDM game. Right of Killzone. You hop into a war zone. As you start playing the war zone, next thing you know, okay, you're going to come in, it's body count. Team Deathmatch. The team that gets the most body count all of a sudden has a search and destroy mission that comes up. Now they've got to run out, find the explosives, place them on the object, blow it up. Oh wait, that team won two in a row. Now the best guy on the best team is going to be the assassination target. All of your buddies have to protect him while everyone's going. And this is never changing. It's never coming out of the game. It's all just all of a sudden blip. You're getting more HUD icons coming up. It's like, we got to go do this now, now. Communications, you've got squads. You're going to be able to talk to your squad mates or proximity based buddies. So you, and enemies. So you can't be standing around a corner from bad guys going, okay, let's go in three, two, one. Step around the corner, they're going to be like, yeah, you're right there. Right. So, I mean, really, I think we've got a strong feature set. We focus on community and the level of polish is right on par with the single player. Very good. And as far as like on the land level, like let's say they were to have a live event, like let's say they were to have a live event, would it, would it be able to stack up against like Halo 3, like with, with MLG? 
We wouldn't actually be doing it via land, we would still be doing it online, but the benefit is the ping and the association is more the talking speed between the PS3s right. than the servers. So therefore, if you're on a land and connected online, you're gonna get really phenomenal ping speeds and you'll be able to play against one another at bleeding, eye, eyes bleeding, you know, <laughs> speeds. All right, very good. Well, thank you very much, Kyle. Once again, my name is Steve from ProGaming.com. We'll see you guys later.